Okay, let's try something new here. Whoops, I've got the R6 with the macro lens, the EF macro lens with the adapter. I'm running TT685C flash. I've had this flash forever. Um, I'll find it and put a link at the bottom for you guys. And then I've got this humongous thing up here, and that's a mag mod to diffuse the light. And I've got my dog back there. And I'm going to line this up, and I'm going to take some photos. Now, as you can see, I've got the flash pointing at the ceiling. And this should be <laughs> pretty cool. The flash is keeping up, which is amazing. I'll stop now. But... Um, the flash was keeping up as fast as I was going. Now, it's not bad. It's a tiny bit dark. So, I'll bring that down a notch. And then we'll try it again. We'll see how that did. A little bit brighter. Bring it down one more notch. I'm trying not to point it at her because it'll make her eyes glow. And this is set on, what do you call that? TTL at 128. Now I do have this thing here which is lighter. I really don't like putting heavy things on top of my camera like that. But if you have to, you can. And normally I like to use this, but then the problem is, where do I put the flash? Sometimes I've got it on a little tripod in my hand. Sometimes it's on another tripod. It's, but I, you can't always do that. And, and that's the thing about it. Or you can carry the flash around you, take pictures with one hand, hold it up the other way. A lot of it is inconvenient. So now I'm going to go for straight on, and you're going to see what I mean. Luna. And by going straight on, her eyes will go green is what they'll do and you don't want that so the more you can reflect the light like off the ceiling you won't get that Luna and she's really easy for taking photos with really easy yeah that's not too bad now I could throw another light off to the side if I wanted to to brighten things up but She's turning out pretty good. But again, you don't, you don't want it to be directly at her. We're just trying to throw some light down here. Now, I don't even need to use a flash. I mean, I could turn on some lights down here, get the light up perfect, and not use the flash at all. Now, some people, and I read articles on this, which I never even thought of. Now, I was reading online, they were saying, don't flash your dog. And... Really, it doesn't do much to her at all, but ideally, why use the flash? I mean, I can put some light in the background and stuff like that and then take my photos or whatever, or even go outside where there's natural light and take photos. But I just wanted to demonstrate this particular flash and um, what I'm using. And I've had this flash since the Canon 80D. I mean, I've had this thing for years, like four or five years, minimum, maybe longer. And it's worked on the Canon NED, the USR, the R6. I mean, it always works. Luna, come. Yes, calm down. Easy. Watch the cameras, girl. Yes, watch the cameras. Okay. Okay, yes, you are good. Yes, you are a good girl. All right, go lay down. Get. Get. So... There's multiple ways you could do this, but I just wanted to demonstrate the R6 firing off with this flash, the flash keeping up to the camera, going crazy. I mean, I used the flash for people. I use it for macro photography mainly. Um, I love the Megmod. Ooh, these things are awesome. You need a magnet and you need the gadget. They're sold separately. They're awesome. And... But for flashing the dog, I've never really done this. It's the first time I've done it. And I would actually say 
probably not do it if you can get around it. I mean, if you have no choice, maybe use it as a backlight, be, you know, behind the dog or on a tripod or something like that by using this thing. Maybe do that. But shooting the flash into her eyes, I'm going to show you some photos. These photos we just took, I'm going to take you over there and show you how her eyes greened up and everything when the flash was actually pointing directly at her. You really want to bounce your flash off the ceiling or off the wall or something. So let's head over to the computer and um, let's have a look at how this little thing turned out. Let's okay, let's take a look at um, these pictures here that I took of my dog. And you'll see that, see how that's a little dark? And this program fixed it automatically. The nice thing about taking photos with the macro lens, and this is the EF100, is it does blur the background pretty good. So you don't see my mess <laughs> of everything I got in the back. And uh, you'll see this is from pointing it at the ceiling and I suppose we could maybe bring that up a little bit if I wanted to, you know, and mess with it that way. But you'll see how the flash has made a difference. This one's really dark. You know, eyes are a bit glowing. A bit. Now as I come down, we can get to the part where... I had the flash pointing directly at her. And you heard me rifling all those pictures off. And then you notice the flash was keeping up. Here we go. This is when the flash is pointed directly at her. See? She's like a ghost dog. Now, of course, in post here, we can edit those out real quick. And, um, you know. This program is pretty cool for this. So then I'm going to bring this in. And you could play around with it, taking out your um, whatever you want. Now I've got a white here. I've actually contacted the company of DxO because I have no idea how to put the black in because she has black eyes. So I'm waiting for them to reply. But um, I get how this eye thing works. And maybe it won't. Maybe there's no possible way of doing it in this program. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll have to put it in a paint program and color room myself if I want to take that out. But we'll see when they get back to me. I couldn't find it. So we'll come down. See, I get more flash, more brightness when it's at her. But again, you don't want those eyes glowing like that. And because I shot in raw, well, it'll take a few minutes to brighten it up. You see that? There she is, yelling. So there's a quick demonstration of the R6 with the um, 100 millimeter. And that's the EF, not the new one that's coming out. And I'm telling you, the EF works fine. So, I mean, the RF attachment... What do you got? That new little dial you turn back and forth and change the photo. It looks like you'll end up making more mis mistakes than you will um, anything else with that. And I believe the new one that's coming out is not a 1.0. It's a 1.4 when it comes to, you know, zooming in. So they've upped that a little bit, not much, compared to the EF version one. I don't know if that's going to make a big difference when... Most of the time you crop inside your program. So. So that, that's not a bad photo there. That's not too bad. So if you're considering on using flash. I don't know if I'd use it on a dog or an animal. Because like I said I was just trying to show you how quick the flash can keep up with the R6. I could see putting the flash behind her, maybe. I mean, I have other lights, so there's no reason for me to use the flash and do this. I mean, when you get a flash in your eyes, I mean, it's like, what what was that? I mean, and I've seen a lot of talk about it, a lot of controversy, a lot of controversy about it won't blind your dog. It doesn't do that. But, I mean, 
and they're not always looking directly at you anyways so but why would you want to use a flash when you could set up some lights or go outside on a natural day and do it i was only demonstrating this to you guys so you could see the flash keeping up with the r6 how many photos i was taking and that whole setup that i had going basically anyhow i have a couple links at the bottom one to the mag box the actual flash i'm using and um if you want to pick it up because you know it works with the r6 i've showed you that I have two flashes and the remote, so I can actually run two different flashes. And sometimes I'll set my flashes up on a couple tripods at different parts and then uh, put the remote on and, and then take my photos. Now, I don't like to put a flash on top of my camera like I showed you in this video. I, that's the first time I've done it. I really don't like doing that because I think it's too much weight uh, on the connection there. And I think you risk breaking that, and I just don't like taking a chance. I would really suggest if you're going to use a flash to go get the remote that comes with it because it's a heck of a lot lighter sitting on that camera than um, that heaviness sitting there is what it is. Or put a cage and then put it on top. It just seems like an awful lot of weight sitting there on the camera. All right. Catch you guys on the next one.